My name is Omi Vaidya, and I am an actor that lives in LA. The acting career, you don't have very much control over anything. I mean, in life you don't, but especially with that career. So you go in there, you give it your best, and sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. And uh, sometimes there's a flavor for an Indian guy or an Asian guy, sometimes there's not. Uh, a lot of it is typecast. Hey, you should hear your mom on the phone. She's really kicking the ass for you. If you're an actor, you have to have some sort of uh, commercialism and people have to get excited about you and know your name for you to get to the next place, you know? And in LA, at least, it's it's been hard. I'm not a name here. I'm a working actor, sometimes unworking, not working. And it's a very big struggle. Every day I go in and I audition and maybe after 20 auditions, I get one role do that day of work and then it's back to square one. Right now, I always have to prove myself and it's, it's, it's a very tasking job, you know. I want to put trees in and a bunch of like, uh, like peppers and stuff. And this I'm just going to leave it like, or maybe one day do grass. I don't know. This is my wife. Hi. My beautiful wife, Mino. Um, <laughs> she's been with me for I always stop at that question. <laughs> Four years. No? Three? Three and a half? Yeah. Oh, three and a half. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. She's my wife and she's getting her PhD. She's much smarter than me. Yeah. But I'm a good actor. <laughs> you guys how just... is that related? <laughs> <laughs> well, how do you think I got you? He makes me laugh, and he's really silly, but he's actually quite intelligent and very caring, and those are things that a lot of people don't know about him. What is your favorite color? Oh, God. You started this? Really? My favorite color is pink. Been <laughs> <laughs> like a show guy? Yes, from the childhood. Oh, he was always funny. He always wanted to act. And he has acted in the uh, his regular school, and he got the best actors award. I'm all I'm just like now. What's next? You know, like I don't know if it's enough. I, I want to do a lot in this world. I want I, I want to make people, other people, laugh or be happy or heal them some way or other. It's it would be nice to get to the next level where people are coming to me rather than I'm constantly going for job interviews. Still need a lot of work. It's gonna take a lot of work. Yeah. So tell us about about this three idiots thing. Uh, yeah, three idiots is a big budget Bollywood movie or Indian cinema. So it has Amir Khan in it. He's one of the top three superstars. He's like the Tom Cruise or Will Smith of Bollywood. And then it has uh, the top female lead probably right now. On top of all that, it, the director is like very well respected in the community for his last two movies which were just blowout hits. So he's like basically at, I mean, unless he goes higher than this, he's at the cusp of of his career right now. Tell us how Omi got into this situation. Like how did it just by luck. Just by luck. I uh, don't really have an interest in being in Bolly Bollywood films, as in the dancing and the singing and mm -hmm. the overacting. Look, I don't speak Hindi very well, or at all, at all, really. Somebody recommended him 
to this producers and director, especially director. She said that it was different and it was a really good director and I should go in, you know, what does it hurt? You can at least meet someone. So I went in and I auditioned for one of the main roles and one of the three idiots actually. I think I spoke three or four words in Hindi and they were like, okay, you can stop. Thank you, thank you for coming. But before I left, they were like, uh, can you come in tomorrow? Because we have a different character that we haven't written. Another part where the character doesn't know Hindi that well. So I was like, okay, I don't speak this language well. Why don't I just do it like I don't, I, I really am confident in what I'm saying. I could play this role because he was really struggling very hard and he was really like uptight and mean and he had a lot of style and character. It was so funny he made. I mean, I started laughing also, you know. They liked everything. They were just like, don't learn any more Hindi because because we like that you don't know it and if you learn it the comedy will be gone so I didn't learn any Hindi also told me to like gain about 10 pounds and then after about six months we finally started shooting yeah so what is Bollywood like what are the differences between Hollywood and Bollywood well besides acting in three idiots I really only worked in Hollywood Hollywood movies as you know tend to have big budgets lots of explosions and stories that range from fantasy to very realistic. Bollywood or Indian cinema, it's a huge industry. It's been around for almost as long as Hollywood. Hollywood will always make more money than Bollywood because the dollar is simply 50 times stronger than the rupee. And Bollywood earns in rupees and Hollywood earns in dollars. So obviously money-wise there is no comparison. But if you look at the, num at the, at the size of the audience, uh, Bollywood is definitely larger than Hollywood. India's population is about four times that of the U.S. And to top that, Indian audiences are crazy passionate about their movies. It's not uncommon for them to see a film in theaters many, many times. Same thing on a global scale. Hollywood films make more money, but there are Bollywood fans all over the place. And you could say Bollywood has a larger cultural influence on the world. That's crazy. Yeah, well, I don't know. I, for me, at least, the story of me in this film, like, you guys think I'm going to be this big Bollywood hero. Uh, it's so, it's, again, like, it's so much more than my wishes or your aspirations. Uh, like, I don't really know. And I'm not, I, I can't really believe myself getting to that level because I've seen those guys and they, I can't, I can't compete with them. They're like buff and they wear like really f crazy clothes and like, I, I don't think I, I would do that. I, I really don't want to do that. <laughs> and uh, I just want to stay Omi but be able to do my projects and uh, if I can get that, you know, uh, fine, I will, uh, it'll be great. Omi called us and said, you guys, the premiere to my big Bollywood film is gonna be at the end of the year. Do you guys wanna come see it? We couldn't really resist the temptation to go to India and see what this is all about. We're the enthusiastic friend squad. If he needs the entourage, we're here for him. So the movie comes out in a month and we're going to see the premiere. Imagine, if your friend is in a big budget Bollywood film, are you gonna fly to India to see him? Yes. Ramamurthy, and um, I am uh, here in Mumbai. I'm doing a, uh, a movie called Shore. Since Heroes came out, I've, I've been getting uh, like quite a few Bollywood scripts, like with huge Bollywood stars that are in them, and to be opposite them and all that. It's really kind of more laid back. Um, sometimes a little too laid back. Uh, working in Hollywood versus here. Here, the equipment works a little differently than in the U.S. You just rent equipment over there and you take it and you can do whatever you want with it. But over here, if you rent a piece of wire, it comes with a guy. 
So we don't have sandbags. Basically, the guy is the sandbag. So each light and each stand has a guy standing with it. We're about three stories up on a tower that has no ladder. We're chilling here with homeboy. It's just a job to hang out with a light. Uh, go India. Bollywood is um, pure entertainment. It's an exaggeration, the way you live the way you love somebody or the dances you know the 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 dresses you wear is exaggeration of everything it makes you forget uh, your worries for sure you know for two and a half hours the best way i can describe indian cinema or bollywood is it's like broadway or west end and and the fact that music plays such an important part in 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 our lives in india so there's a song for every occasion right from the time that you're born till the time that you die so music is such an integral part of our lives bollywood is showmanship bollywood is you know um what's her name bharti the show that you see every afternoon i love lucy i love lucy bollywood is i love lucy it may not be humorous all the time but it's all everything is over the top everything is a, is a little bit exaggerated but everything is perfect my perception of of a bollywood film is you know the the song and dance number and you're having this conversation and then all of a sudden you break out into a song and then you duck behind a tree and the the, the dance happens and all this stuff so you don't make a movie for the story you make it for the songs and who's the actor so like, the bigger the actor the bigger the song director the bigger the movie becomes they the directors interact with actors very differently as well uh because of the way bollywood cinema is you know they'd be like and you know on this part i think that you're really angry so maybe you furrow your brow and i was like well yeah don't think i'm going to do that actually um but uh, yeah uh, you know i'll find a way to give you what you want but that's not going to work for me <laughs> just so we're on the same page i'll show you a picture from his wedding this is Omi Vaidya. So do you do you know him? Does that face? You've you seen him before? No. Who is Amir Khan? I don't know. In America he's not super famous. I just hear his name. I hear his name. Who is he? Yeah, America. Amir Khan. He's the only actor who make only hit films. Only hit films. No flops. Right. Every film yeah, is a hit. Yeah. Yes, every How? Film. How is that possible? <laughs> because he's one hundred percent success, you say? Yeah, yeah. one hundred percent success. Bollywood has given him a name perfectionist. Perfectionist, perfectionist. means he's perfect in everything, in acting, in acting what he choose, actress, and he <laughs> normally nowadays he release one film per year. Oh yeah. <laughs> are you gonna, are you guys gonna go see the movie Three Idiots? Yeah. Yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah, he's a big idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. I'm so excited. Uh, what do you think that this week is going to be like? Well, uh, I was. Uh, I'm hoping three idiots will do great. This is supposed to be the blockbuster movie, so hopefully all the prediction will come true. What's going on over there? I don't know, but it's out there. Who? Akshay Kumar or some shit. Uh, Akshay. Akshay. Akshay Kumar. It's Akshay Kumar. Okay. I guess that was not for Omi. Let's go welcome Omi into the country. Uh, 
<laughs> How are you? This is him. Hi, mom. I didn't know you were coming or not. Yeah. You've been hanging out with everyone, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Minol has uh, come with me to India. First to, time. Uh, first time Thank with you. me to uh, to see uh, and support me support and That's see the here. movie Three Idiots. Yeah. She hasn't seen it either. Neither of us has seen the movie. I am really hot right now. Oh, I thought you meant like a star. No, I'm just It's been four months. Today's our anniversary. Our what? four month is it? wedding anniversary. Four months. Well, I mean, you know. And she says she still loves that good. That is good. That is good. I like it. That one's okay. This will make my hair look hurt. That one is pretty. I like, kind of like, you give it a little bit. Aren't you, see this? I can show right. you some necklaces. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, Mino, you're going to wear this jewelry to the premiere? Mm -hmm. Go from uh, US. Yeah. So, how are you started acting in the movie? Uh, I acted in uh, America. And then they wanted a uh, NRI for this role. It's very small. Yeah. It's his first, you know, intro to Bollywood. But uh, we just came from. These are all the sets. Have a look. There that one's right That's here. better. Now it's a little bit. Is that a Bluetooth? What is it? Yeah. <laughs> totally a Bluetooth. <laughs> it's blinked out. <laughs> Like anyone here recognizes you at all? Nobody recognizes you. They're all wondering why you're videotaping. They're all like, who is this guy and why is he shooting that guy? Okay, good. Okay. 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 But I said that they have a name called Bill. Inka. 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 Is it female or name is female? No. Name is female. Yes. Inka name is Bill. And we are using a video. What? What? I am using it. 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 पढ़ पढ़ता 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 मैं घर में पढ़ा था हूँ पढ़ा था शिट इट्स सो हार्ड आई गाइ गाइ द मिडल वन इज़ ध पर द लास्ट वन इज़ ता सो पढ़ता पढ़ता मैं घर में पढ़ पढ़ता हूँ पढ़ा था हूँ पढ़ा था पढ़ा था नहीं 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 पढ़ा था पढ़ा था फर्स्ट क्या है ओमी सुजेस्टेड दैट वी मेक दिस passes mm -hmm. because we're not getting into the premiere i hope these work i mean they're they're not that official i couldn't take more time with them but we just got we got to print them today premieres tomorrow we flew all the way out to india for this night so i know hopefully we can at least get somewhere oh man all right So we can get it to the premiere with <laughs> I told them to make these ones. Oh I told them to make fake ones. Hollywood Where Kitchen? Like no. What's the Hollywood yeah, Kitchen one? Yeah, no. Why'd you make uh, Kitchen one? Oh, you make I two just, different ones? Yeah, yeah. I like Hollywood Kitchen. I, the, the, the pun possibilities are great with Hollywood Kitchen. Why? Because it's, it's kitchen? sizzling in here. And now for the main course. Oh, my right yeah. Not the real reviews haven't come out yet. The big yeah. reviews, like Times this of India. This is entertainment. These are like yeah. some website reviews, but they're still good. I got my Bollywood glasses on. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so I've been Googling. Are yeah, you been what, what did you find? What I found was the first review. Um, 
The three idiots is overhyped, and that could be dangerous for any film since its expectations would kill a film if the con content doesn't match up to the hype. Here's yet another illusion. Three idiots belongs to Amir Khan. Yes, it does, but also to R. Madhavan, Sherman Joshi, Bowman Irani, Karina Kapoor, and only the entrant in Hindi films who delivers an equally sterling performance. Oh, sterling! That's like silver! Complete without any of these characters. There you go. Hollywood kitchen. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. Oh, oh. IMAX cinema. Vidala. Cinema IMAX Vidala. Vidala. I have never gone to the press area of a red carpet interview in my life, let alone one in India. Dude, it is really, really sweaty in here. I mean, yeah, it is. Oh, it's, it's a sauna. Okay. Guys. Hey guys. Dude, that's the security guard right there. Just, yeah, just show him your press badge and hopefully it works. We're at Hollywood Kitchen? Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, it looks like the press badge has worked, ladies and gentlemen, which is excellent because we are here at the red carpet for the premiere of the up-and-coming film, Three Idiots. How you doing? Hundreds of press are here, and it's a very exciting night. The main course of the evening is the Hollywood's own Omi Vaidya, who we're all looking forward to seeing a little later tonight. Hollywood Kitchen. Huh? <laughs> Hollywood Kitchen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hollywood Kitchen. We're a, we're a network. We're affiliated with ETV in Hollywood. We're a subsidiary. We do a lot of international releases in the day. Thank you very much. Is Omi pulling up in the car? Oh, Omi's gonna pull up. Oh, here he is. Oh my God. Here he is. Omi. This is Omi Vaidya. Oh my God. Omi Vaidya. Wow. You're here. How are you? So good. Is it true that you're the fourth idiot? I am. I am. Is this your lovely wife, Mino? This is my lovely wife, Mino. Mino, are you excited about seeing your husband in his first Bollywood movie tonight? Yes, I'm really proud of him. The online reviews talk about a gentleman, Omi Vaidya, who's the fourth idiot. That's Do right. you know anything about Omi Vaidya? Yes, of course I know Omi Vaidya. I cast him in the film. I know you did. I am the producer. What do you mean I know him? What's that? Yeah. Vidu Vinod Chopra. No. Vidu Vinod Chopra. Yeah. He produced the film. Yeah. Apparently, that was the producer of the film. He's kind of a big deal in Bollywood. I'm trembling a little bit. And... I think I botched it. Mr. Rani, it's an honor to be here. Thank you so much. I'm Tyler from Hollywood Kitchen. I'm wondering, who is the fourth idiot tonight? Fourth idiot. It's me. It's a new concept. <laughs> Mr. Khan, who is the fourth idiot tonight? I'm hoping it's the audience. Do you know, oh, we're, I'm talking in specific, specifically about Omi Vaidya. Can you tell me a little bit about what it was like working with him? Omi was, was, was a pleasure to work with. He's an outstandingly amazing actor. He's, he's done such a fine job in the film. He's really good. How are we going? Welcome, idiots. Is a machine. Um, sir, a machine is anything that reduces human effort, sir. Definition kya hai? Sir, wohi to bata raho, sir. <laughs> Anybody else? Yes? 
Sir, machines are any combination of bodies so connected that their relative motions are constrained, and by which means force and motion may be transmitted and modified as a screw in its nut, or a lever arranged to turn about a fulcrum, or a pulley about its pivot, etc. Especially a construction more or less complex, consisting of a combination of moving parts or simple mechanical elements as wheels, levers, cams, etc. Perfect. Please sit down. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's uh, it's halftime right now. Inter halftime is that what they yeah, call it? Yeah, they call it exactly. interval, and uh, people are starting to notice me and uh, look in my direction. It's completely different. Uh, nobody knew who I was. I just walked past all the photo photographers. Nobody would take a picture, and now everybody's looking at me. It's uh, it's it's only been an hour and a half, and things are changing. There's a speech in Three Idiots, and basically the scene is Chatur, my character, gets an opportunity to say a speech to the whole college. And the speech is very respectful and amazing and, and praising my uh, dean and my chancellor just kissing their butts. Shri Viru Sahastra Buddha, give him a hand. I call him a, a miracle. He's a miracle and he makes, does miracle work. What these three idiots do, and Amir Khan specifically, is they change the speech. He changes that word, chamatkar, to balatkar, which means rapist. I memorize this speech because I don't speak the language. This college me, balatkar pe balatkar kiya. This ka matlab hai chamatkar pe chamatkar kiya hai. Hame to ascharya hota hai ki ek insan apne jivan kal me. इतनी बलात्कार कैसे कर सकता है? वादा है अब से जिस देश में होंगे वहाँ बलात्कार करेंगे। Awesome, awesome, awesome acting. Excellent. Amazing, brilliant actors and no, no words. Jump life ho, out of control, ho toko karke gol. करके गो सीटे पर जाके बोल लाइफ हो आउट ऑफ कंट्रोल ऑटो को करके बोल ऑटो को करके बोल सीटे पर जाके बोल मुर्गी का जाने अंडे का what do you remember? Uh, you were just speaking the speech. Yes, the speech. And you like the speech? Okay, good, good. Both, both. Look at 
जो हमारे नए दोस्त हैं चमन हमें तो आश्चर्य होता है कि एक इंसान अपने जीवन काल में इतनी बलात्कार कैसे कर सकता है What he's saying is, मैं मैं हाँ इन थोड़ा ट्रांसलेशन चाहिए। He's saying that you are you were wonderful in the film. In fact, amongst all four of us, you were the number one, and you were amazing. But he was absolutely hilarious. Yeah, Omi. Omi, yeah, they know all about us, but we all know about you. I'll ask you some questions. Where were you born actually? I I was born uh, near Los Angeles. It's called Palm Springs. It's, Palm Springs. Uh, and two uh, <laughs> 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 means uh, rape. Well, actually, the word balatkar consists of two words, bal and kar. Bal means force. Car is work. Okay. When anything is done by force, force that technically that is balatka. He's thinking that he's yeah. saying he's doing lots of miracles and really he's saying he has done lots of rapes. The the whole public uh, they are all laughing. You know they are very pleased with him and that's why they are clapping and they are happy. So he's saying more and more things that also has the double meaning. You know, so uh, it is a very funny speech. हमें तो आश्चर्य होता है कि एक इंसान अपने जीवन काल में इतनी बलात कर कैसे करता है? इन लोगों का नाम रोशन करेगा। I'm very proud of him. Uh, in the almost all the newspaper you can see here, I have India Times. Then this was uh, uh, in the Bombay Times when he went to Goa, and the Goan, the local Goans were very happy to see that his uh, three idiots is in Goa. You know, nothing succeeds like a Goa Goan idiot because we originally come from Goa. It has been wonderful. Experience is very good, and Omi doesn't get chance to rest, but. Uh, uh, so one reporter asked him, oh, you want to rest at this time? Do you want to rest really? Because you are really hot. <laughs> so uh, Roger, the director called me. 
I've been invited as a chief guest for a college that's opening or something like that for the some sort of college day. So there, I'm the chief guest to like open it up. And, and you know, I'm gonna do that. Awesome. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. Wow. The guest, chief guest at, uh, at, at Sports Day. Hello everyone, um, uh, I'm very honored to be here, if, if I had yeah, if I had some advice to give, I'd say to the parents out here, um, you know the message of the film is not to pressure your children too much, you must support them, you must inspire them. If you want a flower to grow, you cannot pull its petals out. You must feed it. You must give it sunlight. You must give it love, and then it will bloom. Thank you. Thank you so much for letting me be here. Um, it's my honor, and uh, it, it's wonderful. You guys are wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for being here.
So I was only in India for about two weeks and then I was back in school because that's the only break I had. <laughs> so, so I maximized my vacation time with Omi, but it still wasn't enough. I started school the day that I came back basically. Like I flew in and then came to class. I was okay with him being there for another week or two because he was coming home and then I'd start the school year and everything would be normal, but that's not really how it happened. <laughs> Uh, we we try when we came back. They broke all the windows in the bus. A woman almost got cut under the tire of the bus with her baby. So we had to take cars back to the hotel. Right now, motorcycles are chasing us. It feels like you're uh, in a zombie movie and everyone else is a zombie and they all want to eat your brains. They just start going crazy and you think like, what do they want really? Some of them don't have cameras, some of them don't have, they want a signature or something. They'll push and they'll just, they, they won't listen to any sort of reason. And that's why people get caught under buses, they get trampled, you know. They'll, they'll like let go of their kid and just start running. They swarm you and then they know that they have limited time so they all start pushing each other and then you're in the center of that and you're the reason that that's happening yeah. so it's not only a danger to you but it's a danger to to everyone else some woman went like this from behind and I could see in the front like little kids I don't know why the little kids are in the front getting just pushed and pulled and they're starting to cry yeah, they basically get crushed. They'd get crushed, they'd be stepped on. And for what? Signatures, maybe like a crappy photo on your phone, cell phone, you know, stuff like that. Here in India, I think the actor, when he does a good role, I mean, and you know, you, you recognize him, it's just actors are glorified more than just idolized. They're glorified as just like this sort of great, great thing. So um, I only get a little bit of it, just an ink touch of it, but you know, Amir and all the other big guys, like, it's just, everybody thinks of him as God. So they go fanatically crazy when they see them, fanatically. It's dangerous for him to to go out, you know? Like, he has to have bodyguards not only on him, but it's dangerous for other people. Like, there could be stampedes, you know? If he's out here, out there, like where I was, for five minutes, like, uh, 300 people would be there. And I don't know how they, where they come from, but they just, everybody calls everyone or just starts yelling, you know? There he is, and everybody comes. So it, it's pretty crazy. Hi, how are you doing? Hi, how are you doing? They just take it without even... Uh, they do, yeah, they don't even... They just take it. They just take it like that. Just like that. Yeah, it's pretty crazy, dude. It's pretty crazy. It's not, it's not normal. But uh, well, it's normal for you now. Right? Yeah, it's it's got to be when I come here. I mean, people they just they see the movie and they just relate with that character. They know that character, so they just see that character. They don't see you. Hi, hi, how are you? Very see, nice he said Chatur. Nice That's my name in the movie. Thank you so much. Thank you. They, they just call me Chatur on the street now. Oh yeah. Yeah. Or Balatkar, which is worse. <laughs> I know. I know. So it's hard to to be yourself when everyone thinks of you as Chatur. You know, the guy from the movie. Uh, that's all they know. Good sir. Yes. You watched it three times. Yeah. Nice movie, answer about. Chatur Ramalingam. Ah, Chatur Ramalingam. Ah, Ramalingam. Thank you, sir. Are, no problem. <laughs> How does that feel, I mean? 
He said he's gonna tell everyone in his house. Nice. nice. Everybody. I'm, I'm getting a little more comfortable with the crowds. I have more things to say. I hopefully you'll be getting another hundred movies. Oh, thank you so much. So thank much. You. I think that was a mind-blowing acting. Oh, thank you. You did it in three. Days. We'll, uh, we'll hopefully God bless. Yeah. We'll get some more movie. Yeah. And you'll become a star of in the cinema <laughs> industry, man. <laughs> Go ahead. Thanks. They're thank always be with you. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. People, people are excited. You can't, you can't them deny them the fact that they want to hear the speech, or they want to, they want to, you know, hear some lines or something, you know. So, uh, yeah, you know, that's what they, you know, want. So you, you give them that, you know. That's what a performer does anyway. I, I just something has clicked, and like, you know, I have to run with it. You know, I, it happens to people in America. You know, you know, they just something clicks and they get their break, and. Uh, you just got to run with it now. I could be small in Bollywood in two years if, if I don't, if I don't make the right steps. This is a, these are the invitations to the Screen Awards that uh, I will be giving out to you guys and also uh, to my mother and uh, one of her friends. I wish I'd gotten more, maybe I can. And I think this is mine, the special one. Right here. The Star Screen Awards, the way I've been describing it to my friends here, it's kind of like the People's Choice Awards with the Golden Globes. The Star Screen Awards are one of the most um, prestigious awards in India. They're probably the first of the awards season. They kind of set the bar for all of the awards to come. It's free. No, no, I get we're going to get a taxi and then we're going to go to the rehearsal of the Screen Awards where I'm co-hosting a segment with Madhavan, one of the idiots. I have five pages of lines that have only halfway gone through. I have to do three dance sequences. I have over five pages of lines. It starts in 24 hours, the, the Screen Awards. So I have to learn all my lines and those dances that you saw in 24 hours. Otherwise, uh, it'll go badly and probably ruin some chances, if not my career. <laughs> this is an opportunity. Say that. Ah, this is an opportunity. Hello? I don't know what's happening. I don't know why. I'm, I don't know what's going on. But uh, we're going to be doing this. That's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. 24 hours away. That guy's on stilts. Hi, I'm here. I'm just going to the... Where are we going? Vanity. We're going to Vanity. Okay? Omi puts a lot of pressure on himself when he doesn't need to necessarily. He was concerned that this would be it. Like, that was the end of his Bollywood life. Look how many people are here. Crazy. Well, he was nominated for two uh, things, like a debut award and also for the comic comedian, you know, the best uh, comedian, best. best comedian. Three Idiots came out right before the Screen Award, so it was a good chance that Three Idiots would do well. I was hoping that I would get one nomination, but I ended up getting two nominations, one for best comic role and another for most promising newcomer. I think it's Billy Chen. No, but I would say it like this. He usually doesn't care about awards, but he was nervous about how he was perceived by this industry because he's not a part of it, especially with the language barrier. Kavita Shet. 
Shit nahi. Sir. There's no set. There's no shit as in there's no sh. Okay. <laughs> set. Just safe. set. Yeah. Oh. Kavita okay. safe. Set. Mm. Can you imagine doing the whole thing on cardboard? On a no, but it's like a. It's actually a, it's not a, actually on a on a horse, is it? No, no. <laughs> I'm saying imagine the whole act in a cowboy suit. What you're doing right now? Yeah. That would have been ridiculous for you, right? Yeah. That whole thing that you're doing? No, that would have been too much. That's what I was supposed yeah, to do. Yeah, I know. I know. That's, that's too much. I, I wouldn't have done it. I wouldn't have. I hope you got your dances correct, man. I got, I mean, the bull one is easy. That's just nothing. Just sitting on the bull, yeah. Yeah. Look at this. It's like the Golden Globes of India. And I am like, and I am like, who am I like? Billy Crystal? I don't know. Hey guys, welcome to my trailer. It's a pretty comfy place. Whoa, isn't that weird? There's a... You just lost a couple of years of your life. Yeah, I know. You just got like five years younger. I know, it's so weird. I've only been here two weeks and I'm like a part of the, the game now. It's totally sold out. You saw that costume, I totally sold out. Oh my god. Why are you laughing so much, Bill? <laughs> Bill! Ha! No, it looks, it looks fantastic, man. It's gonna be super rad. Oh my god. <laughs> You cannot look at yourself in the mirror. Why not? It looks ridiculous. You should just relax. Look at her. Sorry. Yeah. She's the one that gets all the uh, the pluses of this job. Enjoying yourself, mother? Oh, good. Uh, I used to act in school and college. So I had an intention of uh, uh, coming in the movies and all that stuff. But then we change our mind. Who knew? Surprise. <laughs> this is the only thing I enjoyed in my life. Wow. But uh, I happened to uh, do uh, my bachelor's in uh, chemistry and microbiology. So I had a choice uh, that I could uh, make my children really uh, pursue their career or do something about me. So I chose that I thought I will give them the best. And what's this uh, Shakespeare up here? Okay, now Shakespeare also, he got the award. Oh. Yeah, I think he got the first award in the saying the poetry. I said, do you want the first prize? He said, yes. Okay, I said, I will direct you and you do. You just say the way I tell you to do it, <laughs> you know? And both of them, my older son and him, both of them got the award. Thanks, Yar. Thank you so much. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I hope so. Oh, no, here he is. <laughs> What's up? No touching the clothes, no touching the clothes. What's up? Yeah, man. How you doing, man? Doing great. Good, good. You're looking good. Cool. You, uh... So natural in makeup. Uh, hey, do I? You got some crap on your mouth. Yeah, you're good. Yeah. Really? Okay, okay. Part of the contract, I guess. Action. Guess Sharuka Fair Kiskisat. Guess Sharuka Fair Kiskisat Chelrahi. Guess Sharuka Fair Kiskisat Chelrahi. Guess. Sharuka Fair Kiske Saad Chal Rahi Hai Wow, I'm with you I used to Yeah, yeah Nokia's 16th annual Star Screen Awards 31st January What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah Oh, shit It seems like you were born for this You fit right into it Do I? It's just like seamless Really? Don't you feel kind of like at home? No, a little, bit. a little bit, I guess. Thank you. It's, like it's a different a... world. I'm speaking a language I don't know, you know? Uh-huh. You know? And I'm just uh, having fun with it. Yeah. People like that. Yeah. It's weird. Guess who sold out? 
Guess who? I did. I did. When Mina finds out about this, she's gonna be like, uh, we're totally divorcing. If Mina would have been there, she would have sitting next to you. Yeah. Then why I'm sitting here? I know. I didn't think about it. I didn't know. But it's okay, you're with your friends, mommy. I know, I'm... You're I'm much just, happier. Of course, I don't want to sit with you. You'll be... Because I'm not even there half the time. Oh, I'm not going to sit. I want to sit with my friends. <laughs> you sure, right? Oh, I'm okay. very sure. Don't worry. Yeah. Billion people, or more than billion people are going to watch him. Did you say a billion? Billion. Are you... That's over uh -huh. half the country. That's what I mean. But does it air in other countries besides oh, India? Yeah. It airs, it airs oh, a lot oh, over, oh. and then it re-airs. It's the most re-aired talk show... Uh, uh, award show... Uh, of all of them. It'd be hard to botch this one. Watch me, dude. Watch me. I will. And the winner is? The best screenplay award goes to Abhijit Joshi, Rajkumar Hindani, and Vidavino Chopra. The three idiots. And the winner is? I guess they'll have to come back here again. It's Abhijad Joshi and Rajkumar Hirani for three years. I'd like to dedicate this award to all the teachers who teach from the heart and not from the book. One minute, here we go. Marathi cowboy with international accent. Born in Shignapur, brought up in Singapore. Tu Amchi Mumbai me kaise aya? Amchi Mumbai? Are ye tumre liya Amchi Mumbai hoga? Ye to hamre liya Kamchi Mumbai hai. तेरा जलवा तौबा तेरा प्यार तेरा इमोशनल अत्याचार The award for the most promising newcomer male. And the nominees are Most Promising Newcomer Male ke nominees hai Amul Gupte, Kamine. Shomi, three idiots. Aapne aapko is kabil bunaya hai. Wakt ka sahi upyoi in se sikhe. Chandan Roy Sanyal, Kamine. Let's go from here. Let's go from here. Naveen Kaushik, Rocket Singh Salesman of the Year. I'm happy. 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 And the most promising newcomer male goes to. He's an idiot. Omi Vaidya. 
Thank you so much. Uh, this is really unreal for me. Um, uh, I, I, I really have to thank Raju for, um, you know, picking me out of, he, he saw something in me, he saw a vision, and uh, he really believed in me. And, and that's something an actor really enjoys. And I have to thank Vinod for taking that risk, you know, on a, on a new person. Uh, this, is a, this is a really amazing thing for me. I, Thank you so much all. Thank you my family and my friends and my wife. Thank you so much. Hey Omi. Omi. Ye to chamatkar ho gaya bhai. Yeah, definitely yeah. So all the best Omi. I miss you, baby. I'm gonna have to do something really different for the next role, you know? Cause... Yeah, we talked about it, baby, but like, I'm not acting at that point. It's just. No, I totally oh, yeah. forgot. Like, you know, when you're on stage and you're being yourself, you're just like, you know. And I said, my family and yeah, my friends and my yes, wife. Yes, yes, I heard that. Yeah, so. Thank you. Yeah, I'm just a normal person, you know? I just. Oh, God, you gotta see that get up. It's, I totally sold out, you know? It's like one of those awful, awful get ups. I know, you'll be embarrassed when you see that costume. I was like, oh. It's from a man. Huh? It's come from a man. Yeah, yeah. Nice, actually. Thanks. Best birthday gift. It's tomorrow's my birthday. The best. Thank you, sir. Happy birthday. Hi. Your birthday? Yeah, my birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Actually, I have to Yeah, I know. So, shall I go? No, no. We have to first tell you what you're doing. Oh, okay. Moving on towards our next award, which is uh, for the best actor in a comic role, male, female. And the nominees are, please. Sanjay Mishra, all the best. Dee Santosh. Rocket Singh, Salesman of the Year. Mira, Mira or koi na. Achha. Sagare tak 50 50 the. Omi, Three Idiots. Ki ek insaan apne jivan ka. That category is usually saved for the Robin Williams and the Jim Carreys of India. Having myself nominated aside those people was like a really big thing. If I win Best Comic Role, it'll be something that probably hasn't been done before. It'll mean that I can take on some bigger comedy roles and maybe you know even compete against some of the top people there i'm so proud of him whether he wins or not the best man should win and uh, that attitude sort of i see in america but in india not necessarily because there is politics always best actor in a comic room and to give away the awards uh... May we please call on stage Ritesh Deshmukh and Mukda Gotse. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, Shah Rukh. Hi, Shahid. Namaskar. Okay, and the winner is... Mr. Omi Vaidya. For three years. Congratulations. Double chamatkar, I guess. <laughs> um, wow, I, 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 I don't know what to say. It's, I guess my speech was very memorable, but uh, I'm, I'm pretty speechless right now. Thank you so much. Well done and congratulations, Omi. And uh, next will be a award for best actor. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? I don't know. I just won two awards. We're just gonna put these down in the trailer and then come out and, you know, this is quite, kind of crazy. <laughs> I don't know what to think, uh, but it's like a, a really good day. Ah, oh, there's so many things I wanted to say, but I just, I couldn't come up with them at the... Fuck. Oh well. Was it okay though? Yeah. 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 Thanks, Yar. Thanks, Yar. The next award is for the best film, and the nominees are. 
Hopefully no one steals those. <laughs> Check that out. And the winner is... Vinod Kaman. The three idiots. Big round of applause, people. Come on, put your hands together. I am speechless. <laughs> I'm sorry you weren't there sitting with me, mother. But I did thank you. If I had thank you more, I would have started crying. All is well. This is five to four. Wishing you a wonderful New Year. Thank you. I guess I'm big in Bollywood. Oh! <laughs> oh! Can we get him to say that again in a better light? Let's do that. Uh, that was good light. That was good light. Hi. When do you find out if you win? Birthday, I love you. My, my wife just called me. They just had fireworks right now for the end of the show, and it was uh, like, everybody's like, happy birthday. So, I love you, Mina. I love you. <laughs> you Make guys. a wish. Make it count. <laughs> <laughs> I got some tomatoes, man. I grew some tomatoes, just like I said I would. They're like vine ripe, for sure. Mm. It feels good to uh, to be back. Uh, home is quiet, unlike Bombay. Uh, my house is my house, and it's made the way that I wanted it. Little overripe but that's okay <laughs> I feel like I don't have to act here I, I just can be myself while there I'm always playing a, a role I definitely like that I like that that anonymity it's something I won't have for at least for the next few years in India uh, let me introduce myself Mera naam Omi Vaidya. three idiots has given me um, a big boost and uh, a chance to do a lot more. Uh, I get films now offered to me. Um, I, I don't really have to audition for them. So in the last year and a half since um, you guys left last, I've almost completed an action film. Uh, we still have to do the voice on that. And um, I have done one film that has come out that did okay, that um, I played sort of a poetic lover. I'm in love with you. Do you love me? Please stop embarrassing me. So I have to go back in a week. I've been here four days in, in LA and I'll go back in about five if I'm lucky. And uh, that's kind of how it is. I do that every month, basically. I, I come home, I hang out with Mino. We try to make the most of it. And then um, we go back. I go back. She stays here. Namaskar, bhao. <laughs> namaste, namaste, sir. Namaste. Mera wala banaiye. Sab aap ke liye aaj book ekdam ready hai. <laughs> Kya Aur baat hai? Aur saath later bhi hai. <laughs> Kya kamal hai, yaar? Ye book hai, sir. Aur ye later. Oh. Love is full of surprises, na? Nahi, khare, sir. <laughs> My wife has been supportive, but also it's been hard. So to be home, it feels really good. Ah, there she is, up there. There she is. Hi, baby, I got you some flowers. I got you some flowers. 
I've learned it's really hard to be away from someone that you love, but I think everyone knows that. So it's just a personal lesson that I've actually learned instead of just knowing. Like it's just, we're living in two very different worlds, but we're making it work. So it's a difficult process, but we're adapting to it. It's really weird. <laughs> Three Idiots was the top grossing film ever. What is it called? The biggest blockbuster? Yeah, I guess. Um, it made more than any other film ever has made in the history of Indian cinema. Um, it made double what the previous record holder was. Just about every other Indian, if not more, have seen the movie. I mean, there's very few South Asians who have not seen the movie because it was that big a deal. What do you think about what happened to me and in Three Idiots and all that and the fame? What do you think about all that? Um, you got a, a head start because of that. Now it is up to you. But you got a head start, you know, because of the Three Idiots. Uh, suddenly everybody knows uh, Omi Vaidya and now it's up to Omi Vaidya what he will prove. You know, by himself. So, so what you're saying is no pressure, right? No pressure, right, Mama? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I don't know how many people know who Omi Vaidya is, but the people that have seen me and uh, know my face, that's probably definitely in the millions. It could be in the billions. I don't know if they all remember me, but that'd be crazy. I think hopefully by the, if I keep working, maybe a billion people will know who I am. But uh, that that would be cool. It's all good.